G'day, I'm Sticks from Bemused Rat, and have you ever wondered what the universe is? Science reckons it came from a single point in a big bang. And then beyond that, it just sort of shrugs its shoulders. Creationism likes to think it was done in no more than seven days by a supernatural god. And then what happened before that? It also shrugs its shoulders. Some more open-minded philosophy though gives us a lot more possibilities. So here are just a few. Now the first one's easy, because we've all seen the movie, The Matrix. These self-aware robots have captured mankind, plugged us in as an energy source, and plugged our minds into The Matrix. Now this system they call The Matrix keeps our minds occupied, leaving our body free to do other things like generate power and get flushed down the toilet like a goldfish. We remain unaware of this robot-ruled universe, and we believe we run our own lives in a human-controlled world. Now this is entirely possible because of the great human limitation of everything being perceived through our mind. Everything we experience, everything we see, touch and perceive is done through our brain, through our mind. So if you trick this system, if you override this circuit, it is easy days for robot kind. <laughs> and this limitation of only being able to experience the world through our brain makes our bodies completely unnecessary. What if we have no bodies? What if the world is a computer simulation, different to the matrix where we have a body and a brain in a real place? And our brains are nothing more than little self-aware pieces of code, unable to be aware or sense anything outside this simulation. But what if this simulation isn't a computer simulation like in the matrix? but we're in someone's mind. We could be in their dream. Wait, Wait this, this is, is a dream. dream. Precisely. A dream? We could be in someone's dream and all of science and nature and spirituality are just manifestations of their imagination. It could be a god, a person like us, a Cthulhu. Let's just hope whoever it is doesn't wake up anytime soon. In the morning, you wake up refreshed without morning after grogginess. What were we before we woke up this morning? How can we be sure we were who we think we were yesterday? Did the strangers come and implant memories into our brain? Maybe the MIB or other government organization are implanting memories in our minds with drugs or other means? Or maybe there's an alien race somewhere controlling our memories, our history, our ultimate understanding of the universe. Polish humans. Oh yes, Kodos. Earth is now ripe for the plucking. <laughs> well, maybe there's no universe at all. If everything's in our heads, how can we be sure there's anything else out there? How do I know you're real? How do I know this camera is real? How do I know you even hit that subscribe button at all? This one's called solipsism, and I think it's something we've all thought about at least once. Are you the same as me? Do you have the same consciousness that I do? Or are you all just robots? Dream characters in my head? Is my mind the complete and only universe? It's a lonely thought. So these are some of the things I like to think about. Now if you liked any or all of these concepts, let me know down in the thing and I'll do some more episodes, some more in depth, get some mind melting happening. Until then you can find me on Twitter, subscribe and like this video five stars and I'll see you in another universe. <laughs>